What if a human lived 1,000 years? Hi, if you came to this video, you're probably wondering what would happen if a man lived 1,000 years or more? What possibilities would be open to mankind and how many useful things could be done? If such a thing were possible, well, then make some tea, make yourself comfortable, and let's go. Problems we'll face. The first problem that will arise if people invent the so called elixir of immortality, this will be the overpopulation of the planet. Already, now the annual population growth is 80 million people per year. Also, at this rate, in 1,000 years, there will be about 153 billion of us. Delhi in India has the highest population density at present with 11,000 people per kilometer, and this will be true for all over the world. In order to have enough space for everyone, huge skyscrapers will have to be built. At the moment, the largest building in the world is the Burj Khalifa, which is 828 meters tall. In the future, this would be only 10% of everything built. If we live for a few centuries, our lives will be completely different. Just imagine the simple social consequences that might come along with it. For example, you would have to work absolutely all your life because no pension fund in the world would be able to support endless old age for centuries. Imagine if you retired at 70 and lived to 1,000. Not a bad calculation, but such a life would not be profitable for anyone. Further, careers would have both pros and cons. The positive side of all this is that the manufacturing workforce would become so efficient that it could boost the world economy many times over. But on the other hand, young and inexperienced graduates from universities and colleges would have no chance of finding jobs. Is it possible to realize this? Now that we've figured out what problems humanity might face if more than 1,000 people are allowed to live, it is now worth talking about whether it is even possible. If so, how? And yes, it is worth answering the most important question right away, obtaining immortality, as it's portrayed in movies where you can jump off a skyscraper only to tell your friends about it is very unlikely. To be more precise, 100% impossible. But such a thing as not dying of old age is a very interesting and quite feasible project. Today, in many states of America, there's a collaboration of billionaires and biotechnology companies which are engaged in the creation of a cure for old age and prolongation of human life. Their survey proved that it is quite possible to implement and the question of eliminating old age only a matter of time. Medicine does not stand still. Technology and science are working on the creation and development of eternal life. Over the past century, people began to live to be 100 or more years old, although two centuries ago, this figure did not exceed 70 years. How to make it happen Genetic engineering can help extend life expectancy. For example, scientists discovered that human cells have a so-called counter telomeres, which determine how many days we have left. Telomeres are located at the ends of chromosomes, storing all the body's genetic information and saving this invaluable natural archive from damage. By comparison, the ends of sneaker shoelaces have hard tips that help to preserve them for as long as possible. For chromosomes, telomeres are such protectors. But with each cell division, they shorten. When they become quite small, the cells begin to age and eventually die. But scientists at Stanford University School of Medicine have found a solution to lengthen telomeres. They also unraveled cellular signaling and transcription that will help prolong life. The understanding that the elimination of death can be achieved by the means of future science began to take shape as early as the 17th century. However, the prerequisites for the synthesis of disparate ideas into a coherent philosophical system were formed at the beginning of the 20th century. This direction at the junction of philosophy and natural science studying the problems of physical immortality was called scientific immortalism. Immortalists believe that radical extension of human life up to physical immortality can be achieved by scientific means. Modern science is 
well familiar with the mechanisms of aging. A most decisive importance in the destruction of the organism is given to the damaging effects of free radicals. These are aggressive oxygen molecules formed during metabolism, having an unpaired electron and reacting chemically with various substances in our cells. They oxidize and destroy them, especially they take up decades of our lives, and they are often the culprits of diseases such as cancer. And vascular disease. But is there any way to fix it? It turns out, yes. Repair System The body has so-called repair systems that are capable of repairing damage. True, they don't work indefinitely. In the first stage of life, our cells are able to divide quite rapidly, therefore constantly renewing themselves. No matter what damaging factors act on the body, as long as the cells renew faster than the damage occurs, the body remains young and healthy. But by the second half of our life, the cell can no longer renew itself. But what causes this to happen in the first place? Studying the mechanisms of cell death. Scientists hypothesize that death is programmed just as organ death is programmed. In plants, it is the leaf loss in the tadpole, the disappearance of the tail when turning into a frog in the human embryo, the resorption of the tail and gills. So cells do not die of old age, but actually commit suicide. But if this was true, can we try to reprogram the cell by removing the die command from its genetic code? Step by step, the scientists arrived at their goal. They identified a protein in the protein chain called P66, that gives the fatal command. Scientists from the US and Italy, led by Professor P. Pellicci, conducted the most complex experiment. The experiment was tested on mice. They neutralized the gene responsible for producing the P66 protein, and the life expectancy of the mice increased by 30%. It is as if the person with a planned life expectancy of 75 years had received a gift of 22 more years. At the same time, a group of Canadian biologists neutralized two genes in worms with only a thousand cells in their bodies. These worms began to live six times longer. In humans, the processes leading to aging are duplicated many times over, so we need to look for other mechanisms of duplication. While nature is playing a fascinating game with us, the end is not far off. Is humanity ready for such a long life? While technology is struggling to create an immortal cyborg in which the human self could be implanted, scientists are asking themselves the question, does a person even want to live forever? Says Dmitry Olshansky, a well-known St. Petersburg psychoanalyst, does such a life have any meaning at all? And what about the desire for death, which is what makes a person human? Borges has a story about people who found immortality and after a few centuries lost any meaning of life and after a few centuries degraded to an animal state. Indeed, life has meaning and value only when it's finite, when each moment is unique and not a single minute lived will return. Only then a person can have motivation, purpose, and desire to achieve it. If life is an infinite line but not a segment, which must be lived as interestingly as possible, then it will have no purpose and desire to live will disappear. After all, imagination and abilities of man are not limitless, and many modern people, even at the age of 20 to 30, live boring and meaningless lives, studies, families, children, credits, housing, pension, Take this scenario away from the average person, and you'll see anxiety he will fall into from his meaningless existence on this planet. And then it turns out, as this emptiness can last for centuries, it would probably be a disaster for many people. To summarize, it is worth saying that it's very difficult to answer the question of whether or not humanity is ready for such a long life. It will probably depend on which way you look at it. But the one thing that can be said for sure is that everyone should live and enjoy life every day no matter how long one has left to live. Subscribe so you don't miss any new interesting videos. We'll see you next time.